Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Chiswick Auctions. My name's William Rouse and I'm the owner of Chiswick Auctions. The business itself has been around for about 15 years. In the last few years since we've taken it over, things are running a bit more efficiently and uh, it's a good business now. Chiswick Auctions is a crazy place. It's central London's only auction room that has a sale every week. We sell about 800 items here a week. You never know what's going to come through the doors in here. It doesn't stop. We've got regular book and manuscript sales, um, toy and uh, vintage clothing, jewellery and silver, um, and it goes on and on. We do our best to offer uh, a, full, a full breadth of, uh, of services. We do valuations here every day of the week. People can have their jewellery valued, their silver, any works of art, pictures, and for that matter, furniture, if you have the facilities to bring it along. We have 52 sales a year. And the sales do vary in size, but typically there's six, 700 lots a week. There isn't a particular theme to this place. It's quite like to be surprised by what's here. Invariably, I come away with something. It's like a wild goose chase, stroke, a gold rush hunt. The best thing about working here, without any shadow of a doubt, is the extraordinary variety of things, and for that matter, people. We see a variety of, uh, from the eccentric to the downright bonkers, and bringing in items that reflect that. The variety is endless, and the beautiful thing about antiques is that almost nothing is exactly the same. Buying at auction is the most exciting thing you could do in the whole wide world. It does get addictive. People come in here who've never bought an auction before, all afraid, intimidated, and nervous by the process. There's always 100, 200 people in the room, watch how they do it, you can learn very, very quickly. Bidding shouldn't be intimidating. In reality, nobody ever buys anything by sort of scratching their nose. That, that isn't something that happens. You, in order to get my attention as auctioneer, you have to sort of wave quite enthusiastically or uh, really attract my attention. And then once you've attracted my attention, you can confirm the next bid by a, a much smaller indication, for example, just nodding your head. We're now able to see our catalogue online every week, well in advance of the sale itself. Um, so as well as those physically coming to see the sale and handling a physical catalogue, um, you can now see images, high definition images. It's made very easy for people to see things virtually, uh, and we do our best to provide that service. With our internet auction bidding, it's very, very popular because you can be sat in an armchair in Sydney, Shanghai or San Francisco and bid here. All little boys like trains. Some boys don't grow out of things, that's myself included. That's the about auction houses like this, you never know what you're going to find in it. The reality is, Chiswick is the most exciting to come to. You're just the best, simply the best. All the staff feel involved here, so if somebody walks in with a good object and uh, you know, we've given it a, a, a fairly high estimate. Everybody gets excited about it because it, they, they feel involved in the whole process of seeing it through to the, the moment that it gets sold. We do have specialist fine art sales, which are about every three months. So if you bring a particularly valuable, really interesting thing in, then we will hold it back if you want us to for the specialist fine art sale. Money perhaps is perceived as being a bit tight and auction houses can offer value for money which cannot be found in the, in the high street. And I think that education, thanks to television and thanks to us trying our best to get the word out there, is actually growing very rapidly now. All the auctions are open to the public and we positively encourage new people to come along. I like to think that we're very approachable, unlike some of the bigger sale rooms which can be a little bit of a minefield to get through. Um, just ring uh, the, the main switchboard and there's, uh, the, you know, one of the girls that answer the phone will, will hopefully help you with any query you have and allay any fears you have. At the end of the day we want people to come and enjoy coming and more importantly come again and we will endeavour to make sure that happens. 90. Anybody else? 290.